Today we have two news stories, one concerning AMD's Vega lineup of graphics cards, specifically the gaming lineup. We got an announcement last week from AMD during their analyst day that the Vega Frontier Edition will be coming out at the end of June, but now it looks like we may be able to see the gaming cards coming a little bit sooner than expected. And we also have a rumor about Nvidia's Volta, which also might be coming sooner than a lot of us expected as well, if the rumor that we're gonna look at here is true that was courtesy of an intern over at NVIDIA. But we're gonna start with AMD. I initially saw this post go up on Reddit because there was recently a press conference call during the 45th annual JP Morgan Global Technology and Media and Telecom Conference. That's a hell of a mouthful. But during this press conference, Lisa Su was taking questions from the media there. And she said that the RX Vega graphics cards for gamers will be coming very soon after the Frontier Edition. We actually have an audio clip of the question and the answer from Lisa Su, so we're gonna go ahead and play that right now. The team appears to be well positioned to address the enthusiast market and uh, you know the high performance computing class market uh, during Analyst Day. Uh, however, it's kind of interesting because um, you didn't talk much about the timing of your next generation sort of enthusiast sort of gaming platform. I think it's, 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 it's being referred to out there as sort of the, uh, the Radian RX platform using your, your, your Vega architecture. When should we expect uh, the Vega-based gaming cards to be launched and uh, how should we view Vega's performance uh, for this segment relative to, uh, I think NVIDIA just launched their 1080 Ti platform back in March. Yeah, so uh, we're very excited about Vega. You know, Vega is a brand new architecture and actually has um, uh, really the world's most um, advanced memory architecture uh, for GPUs. Uh, what we did announce at our analyst day is that the first shipping Vega will be the Frontier Edition, yes. uh, which uh, will ship with 16 gigabytes of, um, of memory, and it will ship uh, towards uh, the latter half of June. Uh, you will see the enthusiast gaming platform, mm -hmm. the machine learning learning platform, the professional graphics uh, platform very soon uh, thereafter. And so we will be launching Vega across um, all of the market segments uh, over the next couple of months. Great. So there you have it, Lisa Sue saying that the RX Vega cards are going to be coming in the next couple of months. So that would put, that would basically be June or July. So knowing that Vega is coming at the end of June, that would tell me that we're probably going to see the Vega lineup of gaming cards sometime in the month of July. I mean, that conceivably could drift into August, you know, couple is kind of a subjective, subjective term in a way, but usually it is meant to being two. So that would tell me that we're going to see Vega gaming cards sometime in July. You guys, please let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments below. I was really interested when I saw this go up over on the r slash AMD subreddit. So I wanted to bring it to your guys' attention so that we could open it up for discussion down in the comments below. And so that story actually has a bit of weight to it. You know, it's we actually have an audio recording of Lisa Sue saying this. Obviously, there's some speculation that goes into that, though, for what she actually means by the cards coming very soon in the next couple of months. But this next story is just an image that was posted on Facebook by an NVIDIA intern that shows what appears to be a potential Titan Volta graphics card, which was posted over on video cards. And the reason it looks like it could possibly be a Titan Volta graphics card is because of a couple of factors. Um, so first off, it has NVLink on it. It does not have traditional SLI connectors like you would see on a graphics card like the GTX 1080 that I'm holding right here. So it doesn't have these, it actually has two NVLink connectors, which would usually have two very large bridges that kind of connect them together if you want to go ahead and utilize that. And the other thing being that the power connectors are, on, are facing outward on the card, again, kind of like my GTX 1080 here. Well, yeah, just like the 1080 here, it's got two power connectors on the outside. It looks like an eight pin and a six pin based on the image there. But if this was an NVIDIA P100 card, the Tesla P100, then it would have the power connectors actually on the side of the card facing outward, which is more traditional for putting them into a server mount so that you can put a bunch of them all next to each other. So. Um, based on that, you know, is this actually a Titan Volta graphics card? I mean, it says Titan on the side of the thing. It's got normal power connectors like on a consumer gaming graphics card, but it has NVLink, which we haven't seen in any consumer gaming graphics card. So maybe this is 
Maybe this is an old engineering sample from a previous Titan card, but that is definitely a Founders Edition style cooler, just like the 1080 that I have right here. But we can see green edges on it, which are usually on things like the Quadro or the Tesla P100 cards. So rather interesting, really not sh too sure what to take away from this. You know, could it have been an old engineering sample from a previous Titan lineup, but maybe a, a design for a shroud that had gotten scrapped and never was never used? There, that's a possibility right there. Or the possibility, as videocards.com is suggesting, is that this might be a new Volta Titan graphics card. So once again, let me know your thoughts on that down in the comments below. I look forward to our discussion down there as always. And until the next video, I will catch you guys next time. Ta-ra.